Well, since I've lately developed an obsession with uh, maps and old first-person shooters, I'm going to add Half-Life to my list of games I talk about, I guess. Um, first uh, video I'm going to be doing is on Snark Pit, which is something I already covered in Team Fortress Classic. Um, and I, I'll link the video in the description. But I'm going to actually show it in its natural habitat, if you will. And yeah, you'll see what it's like in Half-Life Deathmatch, because, you know, that's the point of showing it here. So yeah, one of the spawn points here is in the acid room. You want to get the hell out of there, because, you know, that's not really a good time. Radiation isn't exactly something you should be sticking around, so, you know. But yeah, as you can see, if you've already watched my Team Fortress Classic video, you're going to notice some starking differences. Mostly the addition of items. Um, one thing I like about Half-Life Deathmatch is one of the settings you can put in the server is have the weapons actually stay. And for the fact that these are going to be really busy server, like, you know, maps. Because remember, Half-Life supports up to 32 people per map. You kind of want this so then everyone has a chance to actually get some weapons. Well, not like that, but, you know. I think there's a stash of items up here, if I remember. Yeah, see? Um, well, there's supposed to be. Ah, there we go. And I missed it. Yeah. Oh, I, maybe I didn't. I don't know. You can also activate that fan to blow people away and trap them in the corner here. It's worth noting that this is uh, based off of a map called DCDM3, designed by a man named Dario Caselli, who would go on to actually design this version. I think the vast majority of maps in Half-Life Deathmatch. Um, he did. He made it before. He was at Valve. He was, I think, waiting for his work visa. Uh, by the way, if you uh, press this, you know, you can do that. There's a cause jump for you. That's how it's supposed to be. Yeah, he was. He made it for quick while he was waiting to get hired for the company, and then he remade it here. I've never played it, so I can't tell you the exact differences. Uh, here's the smart pit, by the way. If you press this, you'll get snarks on the bottom floor. And if you've ever played this game, you know these guys are persistent little assholes. You got this. And this is one way you can get the rocket launcher. Or, you could just be a Chad and just do this. Or, you could just rocket jump up, I mean, gauze jump up there. Don't try to rocket jump in this game, by the way. Uh, you'll just die. There's that, uh, other entrance to the radiation room of death from earlier. Um, there's another hole into the snark pit. And yeah, that's about it. This is actually one of the smaller Half-Life Deathmatch maps. Most of them are a lot more wide open. But you know, it's still... I remember having fun on this one. Yeah, definitely get the cause. Like, if you know where it is, get it as soon as you can. Like, uh, the moment after you've already just died there. So, like, if someone just killed you, they'll kill you again and get another frag, and that's no good. Oh god, I stacked up this on myself! What did I do that for? Kill me, please! Thank you, sir.
Yeah, there we go. Nice little shortcut too, I didn't bring that up earlier. My mouse sensitivity higher, but yeah, anyway. Uh, Stalker, I mean, sorry, Snark Pit, pretty good uh, deathmatch map. I don't necessarily like the flow too much. I wish there was more pathways, but you know, not terrible, and you know, a good little romp. Would recommend. <laughs> 